Good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy Wednesday and welcome back to a new day of learning. Let's start with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands. One nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now for our role pledge. I will respect myself and others, offer kindness, act with integrity and remember to persevere. Well, happy Wednesday, everybody. Hope your week is going well. We're halfway through the week, so we're halfway to the weekend. Hooray! But it is still a Wednesday, so we still have lots to do to be successful and work hard today. I hope that you have been enjoying our Black History Month and learning about different people. I have learned so much. It is really, really cool to learn how many people have done so many different things. Some of the things I didn't know about, so it's great to learn about different people and the contributions they made, and it's great to learn together. So again, we're gonna learn about two more folks today that have made excellent contributions, not just to the African-American community, but also to the world as well. So today, we're gonna start with Granville T. Woods. Granville T. Woods was born in 1856 and died in 1910. Granville T. Woods was known as a Black Edison. Granville Woods was an African-American inventor who made important contributions to the development of the telephone, streetcar, and more. And you know, I'm always amazed by inventors because the ideas and how they come up with stuff and create it is pretty incredible. Inventing things is not something that I find interesting. So if it was up to me, it, we wouldn't have very much, I don't think. But we, there were people like Granville T. Woods that was passionate about it that did work hard, that did do the best they could to be successful, and made important contributions to things that we still use. That's really cool. So we're talking over 100 years ago, and we still use telephones. They're different to what they were, but because of the important contributions he made, telephones were around. Did he invent the telephone? No, but he made important discoveries and contributions to help them um, be developed, and made and still you stay and that's pretty cool to think about and that's over 100 years ago so could you be like granville t woods do you like to invent do you like to create stuff if you do work hard at it then you can be successful and then maybe you could be the next granville t woods and you could help to develop new things that people use in a hundred years that's pretty cool right the next person we're going to learn about is marion anderson marion anderson was born in 1897 and died in 1993 Marian Anderson was deemed one of the finest contraltos of her time. Marian Anderson became the first African American to perform with the New York Metropolitan Opera in 1955. So, two more people that broke barriers, that were the first to do certain things, and then that allows other people to follow in their footsteps. And we all want somebody that looks like us doing something great for us to say, Man, I could do that too. And we can because of the people that we're learning about that started before. So to be the first African-American to perform with the New York Metropolitan Opera, she broke a barrier. And then that meant that other black people or people of different skin colors could come behind her. That's awesome. Granville T. Woods is an inventor helping to develop things we still use today. And then when people see someone like Granville, I could do that too. Let's be like the people we learn about. Let's work hard, be passionate about what we do, and we can be successful. And who knows? We could be a name that people talk about in a hundred years. How cool would that be? Don't ever limit yourself because you can do whatever you want. And everyone we're learning about did it in a time where things were not easy for uh, black people, for African American folk. So for them to be able to succeed, they had to work even harder and really believe in themselves and never give up. So even when it's hard and times are difficult and challenging and things are against us, if we keep persevering, we can make it through. So be like everybody we've learned about this month and be like everybody else that does the same. So let's be awesome and persevere and work hard, believe in ourselves and we can be successful too. And it always starts by learning. Because you know what? Today's a great day to learn. Everyone we've talked about this month so far, they've had to learn everything they could learn about what they were doing. That way they can be the best at it. They can be successful. Learning leads to more learning. And the more you learn, the more you know and the more you can learn. So never stop learning.
Today is a great day to be kind. Make sure we spread kindness everywhere. Even when things are challenging and difficult, always be kind. Kindness is easy to do and it's free. It's the best thing, it's the easiest thing. Spread kindness everywhere you go. Today is a great day to be the best you can be. Remember to always work hard, believe in yourself, persevere, and you can be successful. Make good choices and be the best person you can. And you know what? If you make a mistake, it's okay. Take responsibility, fix it, and move on. And if you do that, everything's great. I hope everybody has a wonderful Wednesday. I hope you get have a great day. You're successful and accomplish a lot today. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of the week, even though we may have a nice storm coming. So make sure you're prepared for that and that you stay warm and dry. Have a wonderful Wednesday. And remember, be kind, be kind, be kind some more. Have a great day.